Hello viewers of this video and welcome back to the Redstone Innovation Channel. Um, today we've got a the Mark III 3x3. Um, it's been drastically redone since the more 3x3's video, uh, more 3x3 doors video with the one wide uh, 3x3, the tileable 3x3, the 3x3 with the blocks that come out of the side and Mark III. Uh, but this is basically a redone Mark III. It's faster and it shouldn't bug out it it shouldn't, but who knows? It's Minecraft and Java, not you with the TNT. Uh, so here it is. It's, uh, what's my sound at? Oh yeah, so this is opened at LAN uh, using the new. I can't see a thing. <laughs> okay, um, this is opened up with the new LAN in the 12W27A. So this does work in 1.2.5 and the latest piston timings. So just keep that in mind, it should be working in 1.3. So here it is. Very fast. Very, 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 very nice and fast. So yeah, um... <laughs> Here's all the wiring. Uh, the green circuit here is the control circuit. And uh... Uh, which controls the T flip flop and the mono stable. Uh, the pink circuit is for closing and managing that side piston that takes the block. And blue is for all the side pistons, all, well, all these side pistons. And then orange is the double extender. Um, so yeah, let's let's get let's get to building it. Um, it's just gonna go far away over here, and um, <laughs> I don't know what he's gonna do. <laughs> But let's get some green wall for the control circuit, pink for the side, and blue. That's not blue. Blue and orange and sticky piston. I'm not sure if I like the new layout. It's kind of confusing sometimes. And some gravel. Sander gravel. Sander gravel. That really doesn't help. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with placing your pistons. So place a block, and then uh, two stack pistons, and then oh, I don't have sandstone. Yeah. And then this will be your floor right here. So you're gonna have to dig four down for this circuit. You're gonna come to this top piston, two out to the side, and then place a piston there. Uh, you can cut out this bottom block now. Then on the floor, down below this piston here, you're going to go one left and then one uh, back, place a block, and then this block is going to have a torch on it, and a repeater on three from it. Oh yeah, um, we even tried making a 3x3 three three with one tick of rays, and we couldn't really make it faster, so yeah, it's, it's about as fast as a 3x3 three three can, can possibly go. So this block here is the input block, and it's going to have a torch on the side and repeater on three from it. Lead redstone from both the torch and the repeater, and then lead it up uh, like that. And then place a torch on this block. Place, um, hmm. okay, so you're going to come down to this block here and place a piston. This piston will be in line with uh, these stack pistons. Place a block on top and then place a gravity affected block, sand or gravel, on top of that and then lead a repeater going into the empty space here. So when this T flip-flop is activated its block is going to be up here and the gravel will be pushed up here and then this uh, repeater will be powering through this uh, gravel. Then you can either place a block here and a repeater or no and a uh, lever behind this but I recommend doing this uh, it's a little bit more idiot proof uh, for like servers and stuff so once you got that then you should be good um, for the control circuit. In fact you are. So, uh, once you're done with the green circuit, place a block on top of this torch, and then a block here, block here, and a block here. Um, 
convoluted designs for the win. Uh, so you're gonna, on top of this block with the torch on it, place redstone here. This redstone will be powering this block and then around into this repeater on two ticks. And then it's gonna lead up and power the side piston like that. And then this redstone is just gonna go directly into this top piston. And then once you got that, you should be good for your closing. That that should be all of it. So let's just test it out. Let's grab ourselves a button. We're done with the green circuit. And the pink circuit for that matter. Oh, thanks. So there's your closing circuit, as well as your first block retraction. Mm, not sure what's going on with my sound. So you got that first block retraction. Now we're going to manage that uh, funky double extender. And this part is really fun. So, okay, so coming from this torch, you're going to have a repeater on three ticks. So it's going to be part of your double extender. That is really annoying. So you're going to come around here, and from this torch, place a repeater on three. Uh, place a block in front of this repeater and then a block at a diagonal from it redstone here and then that's just gonna power the bottom piston uh, redstone also here from this so you're gonna have two dots lead this redstone into a repeater just on one thanks then you're gonna have a block in front of this repeater block in front of this repeater with redstone and then this redstone is going to be powering a block and a repeater. So this redstone is going to be powering this block, which will power this repeater on two ticks. And then that's going to have a block in front with redstone on top. Then you're going to stack your way up with torches. So torch here and a yeah, torch here, uh, just like that. And this is basically going to act like a uh, mono stable a little bit convoluted one. Uh, it just uses the fact that a three tick signal going through two torches like this will create a one tick signal and then that's just gonna lead over into redstone into a block right here so once this bottom piston pushes this piston up here then it'll be powered by this redstone and then grab that then what this does is extends the delay to the bottom piston and now what we need to do is manage that last retraction. So that's going to be by a block adjacent to this uh, piston here. Lead two repeaters into that block. The back one is going to be on two ticks. Then from this torch, lead redstone uh, into like that. You can reset and then try it out. It should be working. Like that. So if at any point it's uh, I'm going too fast for you, feel free to pause and uh, that should clear stuff up. So there you go, there's uh, most of, well there's the hard part of the 3x3 done. So now what you're going to do is fill around your 3x3 frame around this 2x1 door. And then you're going to have to manage taking all of these blocks. So you're going to come to behind this piston, place a block, and then three pistons like so. And then that's going to manage those three, and then do the same thing on the other side. Three, and then you're going to come to this middle, this middle top one, go one, two, three, cut out these two, and place the piston. Uh, okay, so it's a lead power into those. Uh, we're going to take a signal from this repeater here. So you're just going to place a block here. Redstone. Block it off. So it creates a dot. That dot will be inverting... Whoops. Will be inverting this torch. And this torch here. So like that. And then you're going to lead the power all the way around. So... Like that. So just torch, block on top, and then redstone there. Lead that redstone around to power the, that's going to be your wall, 
to power the the top piston like that lead it over by repeater I'll uh, go into more detail about this repeater later into this top piston lead it over and then go one down and then down again and then a block on the side of this torch and then you're gonna lead redstone across in a moment in a moment in a moment <laughs> and then you're gonna lead it over this top piston to power it like that then you can fill in your ceiling then what you're gonna do uh, from this block with the torch on the side place a powered rail on top now is your cue now is your cue Okay, and then this powered rail is just going to bud, uh, activate the bud on this bottom piston because you got a diagonally powered block, and now you need the update. And there you go. That should be your 3x3 three three, uh, door. Super fast. Uh, done. So you might be bothered about the fact that this top piston will fire a little bit late and retract a little bit late as well. So what I'm going to suggest doing is just leading it up like this and then that's just gonna power the block adjacent to this piston which will power it without that delay that is caused by the repeater that was there before. It does make it a block taller but it's all up to you. And then yeah so it just delaying the top piston. You, you can play around with the delays and yeah, but yeah. Then you can also do something else this uh, that keeps the height intact by just leading it over from this redstone into the block here, uh, adjacent to that piston, and then that will also power it instantly. But it does make you have a four wide wall. Okay, so after all of that, now we can fill in all the blocks. So, oh, whoops. Let's just, just do this for now. <laughs> and then you can just fill around your frame. Like so. And then just go around to the other side. And then fill in all of the blocks. And there you go. Um, I may note that this is uh, one of the... It, it is uh, OCD friendly. Um, at least from this side because all the blocks are symmetrical. If you look at it, all the blocks are nice and symmetrical. So you can look at it from this side, and then OCD people can be happy. But from this side, it, it's not symmetrical, but whatever. Anyway, so yeah, this is the Redstone Invasion channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, uh, we thank you guys for watching.